my name is Alfred John Ellis, and uh, I'm in my 102nd year. My next birthday is 102, and I'm living independently and have been for years, and having a very pleasant life. I look after all my own business affairs and so forth, and I keep busy staying away from Alzheimer's and dementia and so forth. I've just today, as of today, published this booklet called Life, Love and Laughter by A. John Ellis. And uh, it tells you all sorts of things about how you should get along in life. I think to enjoy life, you should have a lot of humor in your life, a lot of love, a lot of laughter. And uh, don't worry about things that you can't do anything about. Concentrate on the things that you can do. And do happily. I shouldn't be alive today, and I think there's been a, a great deal of accidental situations where I should have been killed. And I, in the book, I, if you want to spend some time, I'll tell you what I said about it here. I must admit that good luck has played a major role in my life. For instance, having been a flying member of the Montreal Light Airplane Club, I was accepted for flying training in September 1939. That's when the Second War broke out. I was delighted and excited with the prospect and all set to go, but my father intervened, contending that the war would last only six months and I would probably be killed and nobody would thank me. Now, now if I had uh, gone into the Air Force, the chances are I would have been dead because during the Battle of Britain, Fighter pilots lasted only 17 hours flying time. And I would have been one of them to be wiped out. So I say thank you, Dad. I like to compare the world like a great big beach. And we're all a pebble of sand on that beach. The way the world works is that you're born, you're educated, you take on work of some sort, and you die, and that goes round and round and round forever. Sometimes people do something special and their name lives on much longer. But I, what I say to the young people who ask me how you got that age, I say, first of all, don't take yourself too seriously, but take what you're doing in life very seriously. You were meant for me, I was meant for you, nature fashioned you, and when she was done, you were all the sweet things rolled into one, you're like a plaintive melody that never sets me free. But I am content, the angels must have sent you, but they meant you just for me. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. Goodbye. Hello.